What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today it is about 8 a.m. in the morning. I just finished up with one of my meetings. Um, it is my last day in Perth. So I've got my GoPro stuff here. I'm gonna strap this to my chest for my workout today. I'm gonna get a great workout in with Jack. Obviously because of my foot, we are doing something a little bit different. We're gonna go to the pool and get a great pool workout in and then I'm gonna do an upper body lift at the gym. So I don't know if they'll, they're gonna let me film in the gym, but that's okay. Um, and it's just gonna be a day in the life. It's gonna be my last day. So I'm gonna get some packing done, gonna get a lot of work done editing videos so that I can kind of relax a little bit when I'm over on the East Coast for a little while. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get the video started. All right, guys, so one of the things that I talk about a lot, I'll set you guys up over here. Bang. Ooh. So one of the things that I talk about a lot on the channel is especially as a professional footballer, you have to travel a bunch and packing up and leaving a different house. As I spoke about before, I had a moving video several months ago, moving into this house. And something that you have to really think about is, is that lifestyle something that you can handle over the course of a long period of time? It's all about making sure that everything that you're doing is sustainable, making sure that everything that you're doing is good for your heart and your mind because at the end of the day you are going to be your play is going to be a reflection of the mind space that you're in and so making sure that you're preparing mentally for those types of moves making sure that you're organized with moves so things go really well and they're not super stressful is so important for moving so in my case i've got all my stuff laid out here camera equipment clothing. I actually sent a bag with my girlfriend over to the East Coast where I will be meeting her in a little bit um, in a few days tomorrow and uh, got all my packing equipment here, some goggles, a little bit of a, a gift which I will probably give to her family um, and then all of the equipment here. So this is all for like drone camera equipment and stuff that I'll be taking on the plane. So that is it. Pretty easy, straightforward, not that much stuff to be honest. And that is something as well that I think is really important when you are traveling all the time is keeping it light so that you don't rack up bag fees. <laughs> So in this particular swim workout, Jack and I did a 500 meter warm up to start and I'll put the workouts up on screen, but essentially we did a 500 meter warm up and then three main sets and then a finishing set. So the first set was five by 50. First 25 of that 50 is slow and then you build up into a sprint at the very end for the final 25 um, as this shows. And then the second set is basically that extended so it's five by 100 and then the third set is five by 50 again the final set is a 50 100 50 100 50 switch back the hundreds are fast the 50s are slow enjoy <music> And so for this workout, I'm back in the strength phase because of my surgery. I'm not in the maintenance phase as I was a few months ago when I was still training on my foot. So now that I am not training on my foot, 
and I am just doing workouts to make sure that I'm in the fittest shape possible for my upcoming season in 2022 after I recover from my surgery, I want to make sure that my strength is on point. So I'm getting back into the phase of workouts that I was in probably around the November, December time, um, doing a lot of lower reps, higher weight. Uh, you know, my squats are sitting around 225 pounds for five by five things like that, that are really good for building that strength. And then as soon as I get surgery and I start to build back up, I'll get into different endurance phases as well, uh, which the swimming is really helping with, but hopefully that's helpful to give you an idea of, for those of you who are injured and it's something that you can do, you can do upper body lifts, lower body lifts, etc. cetera. Um, obviously you have to cater it to your own training, but this is what really works for me during that injury period. guys so just got home Woo! the gym and the pool so again um, I'm actually allowed to do the swimming stuff in the gym so long as I'm not up on my heels um, it's really easy to get caught in especially like in squats and stuff or putting the bar up on the rack making sure that I'm super careful with that um, and just yeah, you know again making sure that I'm staying safe so that when I do have surgery in a couple weeks that there is no further damage and the recovery process is as seamless as possible. So gonna get a ton of footage, um, hopefully of the swim. Hope you guys enjoyed that footage um, and some of that cinematic stuff that I got of Jack. I was super excited. Huge shout out to Jack. Um, I'll throw his Instagram on the screen right now. He is a fantastic player, um, young kid, and just absolutely a joy to train with. He's got a fantastic attitude um, and show him some love on Instagram because he is, um, yeah, he's the man. So huge shout out to you, Jack, and uh, definitely looking forward to playing with you again soon. So right now I'm gonna hop in the shower and then one of my housemates and I are going to go to the store. I've got to pick up a few things and then I will check in with you guys once we get back from the store um, and kind of explain what the rest of the day looks like 
Um, but yeah, that's the workout. Gonna get some mobility in later today, I think. I'll get some stretching and stuff in as I you know, watch some TV and pack, and then uh, that'll be it. So good last day in Perth, and then I'm going out to dinner, which I'll show you guys later um, in Fremantle. So get some good drone shots of the harbor and stuff. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, fam, so for lunch today, just got back from the store. I've got some pad thai chicken and chicken satay. It's from my absolute favorite Thai place here um, in kind of in Carlisle where I live, right near Perth. And gonna get this down and go for a nap. And then once I'm done with that, I gotta get everything packed up because I'm going out to dinner with the fam tonight. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Ooh. All right, fam. Just woke up from the nap. It is about 4.20, 4.30. So going to get some packing done because I need to get some packing done. I have not done that much. I have everything laid out as I showed you this morning, but um, yeah, I don't have anything actually packed in bags. So going to go do some of that. And then I'll be on my way into Frio for some dinner, my final night here in Perth. Very excited for it. Lots of seafood to be had. So, yeah, all good things. Talk to you guys soon. Do you have your can-do attitude? <laughs> Always. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys ready? Yes. Let's roll it. Yeah. Yo. Oh, <laughs> Hi, it's Cassie Paxman here, first time vlog vlogger. We're in the car with Noah. Noah, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Ready for dinner. Ready for dinner? <laughs> yes. What are you most excited about? Uh, the oysters. Mm. Yeah. Oh, mm. yeah. The oysters and the... I think some... If they have a viognier, I'm going to get a viognier. Oh, uh, yeah. A I'm glass of viognier. For wine. A glass of wine, for those of you who aren't uh, privy to that. It is my last day here, so that's why, you know, the Thai food cheat meal, a little bit of clams and oysters for dinner, some wine. Gotta have the seafood. Gotta have the seafood. Mm. That's what Perth's known for, mm. so. We had, what did we have? Fish? Kingfish. Kingfish. Oysters. Don't the oysters. oysters. Scallops. Scallops, yeah. And octopus. Octopus, oh, the octopus was amazing. Oh, this was so good. It's like a, it was like a big calamari. It was like the octopus strands that are like as big as my hand. And then, what else do we have? Fries. Oh, we did have fries. <laughs> we did have fries. Um, and some wine, and some really, really delicious white wine. What did you um, think of the Lark Hill, the Riesling? It was very good. Different, yeah. so different from the yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but that's not what these guys are here for. They're not here for the wine. Most of them are under twenty-one. Right. Actually, not oh, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's a large group of y'all that are under twenty-one. So, um, but yeah, gonna end the video here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the video, um, to the channel, like the video, and as always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.